Lake Mead, situated in the Grand Canyon around 30 miles east of Las Vegas, is experiencing an exceptional drought, and you've most likely heard of it. It's disheartening that the nation can't do anything about it. What is happening with Lake Mead, and why is it drying up? What would happen if the lake dries up and cannot be repaired? To learn more about Lake Mead, stay tuned with us as in today's video, we'll explain more about Lake Mead. Lake Mead is a Colorado River reservoir constructed by the Hoover Dam that spans Arizona and Nevada. Water levels in this huge lake are now at their lowest point in 85 years, dating back to April 1937. Since 2000, the lake has broken almost every year's most insufficient water level record. Lake Mead was just 27% filled as of July 18th, while the Colorado River, which supplies about 97% of Lake Mead's inflow, was only 35% full. At total capacity, Lake Mead would be the largest reservoir in the United States. The Hoover Dam, which created the lake, was built beginning in 1931 and finished in 1936. The Hoover Dam is a multi-purpose dam designed for hydroelectric power generation, flood control, water storage, and irrigation. It provides drinking water and agricultural irrigation to seven states, including Arizona, California, and Nevada, as well as parts of Mexico, and feeds 20 million people. Many visitors arrived by boat at Lake Mead shore during the summer. They felt obligated to return when a warning signaling low water levels emerged. Families have been coming here for decades, but their plans had to be canceled due to the dangers of sailing. In June, Lake Mead had one of its most severe seasons. The water level has dropped between 1,049 feet. If you need any context, the lake has never seen such a drop in the group. This is the first time the water level has dropped below 1,050 feet. The most significant water level that has ever been recorded was around 1,225 feet. In contrast, a drought that has lasted for 20 years has resulted in a considerable decrease of 15%. This is the most crucial problem to address. Some others insisted on heading to the lake, although the road leading there was blocked entirely by sand. Since there was a significant lack of water, the sand quickly turned into muck. Quicksand quickly covered the beaches where people could maneuver their boats. This is different from your typical swamp sludge. However, the sand buried for many decades makes it hard to drive. Even the tow trucks sent to help were mired in the sludge they were trying to escape. The picnic will be forced to take place on the beach. Even worse, you run the risk of drowning in the quicksand. The most challenging part is ahead. You can only partly traverse the shoreline since the water levels are so low. Because of this, you will get disoriented if you bring in autos and accessories. It is impossible to reach a certain point and then declare that you have gone as far as possible in that direction because you will need to locate the point along the beach where there is a transition to quicksand. The graphic depiction of how the drought affected the lake state differs noticeably. Boats on the bottoms of dry lakes, yellow vegetation, and low water levels in the form of a ring enclosing reservoirs are also prevalent. Lake Mead supports over 25 million people in Arizona, Nevada, California, and Mexico. They are all vital to the agricultural economy of the United States. However, numerous municipalities have faced water restrictions due to the substantially reduced lake water levels. These reforms will also significantly influence the agricultural industry's success. But everything is okay right now. If the situation deteriorates, these agricultural lands, which provide the bulk of the country's food, may suffer even more severe water shortages. This will ultimately result in a reduction in future food supplies. That isn't the only thing. The reservoir serves as the main source of hydroelectricity for the Lake Powell Dam. It provides services to over 29 million people in the country's southwestern area. As a result, if this lake dries up, it will impact more than simply the food supply. However, the state may face a power crisis. This would soon cause problems throughout the nation, including increased housing demand. However, the present scenario is relatively benign. Lake Mead is still a valuable resource for the nation, Consequently, whatever the facts are today, they must be closely examined over the next several years. Lake Mead ultimately feeds water to Lake Powell. By diverting water from Colorado River reservoirs, the government hopes to feel powerful. Lake Mead receives 7.48 million acre feet of water from Glen Canyon Dam. This may be a temporary solution since the hydroelectric dam is trying to extract water that the legs cannot give. However, the administration is keeping a close eye on the situation. With changing seasons, it takes time to plan ahead of time. 
As a consequence, even the state can only plan for the future. The significant problem is that the locals need more control over the quantity of water required from Lake Mead and the available amount. This is a significant change since a lake will only be left to stop if the equilibrium necessary to maintain it can be reached. Despite constraints on its use, more and more water is being demanded and used. Keeping this information in mind, the appropriate actions could alter Lake Mead's destiny in a western region that is on the edge of experiencing a water catastrophe. After the season, the water level of Lake Mead is predicted to drop quickly to 1,037 feet and 316.07 meters. By September 2023, the league's water level will be 19% of its overall capacity, up from 27%. With limited food supplies and potential energy worries, the future seems bleak. Also, the drought that has devastated Lake Mead is a mega drought that has lasted for two decades. Moreover, the lake has been the driest in 1,200 years. The facts are undeniably terrifying. Furthermore, global energy costs are expected to grow. With these costs now 50% higher, such a situation might drive them further. So there is no denying that we are living in terrible times. However, the timing of a potential disaster is uncertain. Water limitations may help solve the situation. However, scientists predict Lake Mead will soon demand more due to water limitations. Today's water cutting measures need to be revised. They seek to help cities that depend on Lake Mead for water while protecting Lake Mead from the drought. However, demand is increasing. Consequently, more drastic measures such as significant water cuts projected in the future may be required to save Lake Mead. This is the case unless the authorities prepare for water reduction stages beyond 2023. Such issues may be avoided totally if things are handled correctly. Otherwise, the problem may develop sooner or later. The US Department of the Interior stated Friday that it is initiating an expedited process to possibly adjust water flow operations on the drought-stricken Colorado River as Lake Mead and Lake Powell reached unprecedented lows. Interior said it might investigate using its authorities to limit water flows via the Glen Canyon and Hoover Dams to assist in sustaining water in the nation's two most enormous reservoirs, Mead and Powell, and prevent the dams from losing their capacity to produce hydroelectricity. According to the Bureau of Reclamation, hydropower from the two dams is supplied to consumers in eight western states, and the levels of each reservoir are decreasing so rapidly that experts believe that they may cease generating electricity in the coming years. Notedly, the Colorado River system delivers water and power to more than 40 million people in the West. However, the region's most excellent drought in 1,200 years has hit the river basin. To avert a full-fledged Colorado River disaster, reclamation officials have been working with Western states, tribes, farmers, and towns for months to induce substantial voluntary water cutbacks. For the year 2023, the quantity of water released to Arizona, Nevada, and Mexico will be reduced which will require farmers to investigate other water sources and techniques to save water, such as groundwater. While California is confident that discussions with other states, including Arizona and Nevada, will result in a compromise, we acknowledge the necessity for our federal partners to prepare for steps that may be required to safeguard vital reservoir elevations if states cannot agree on water cutbacks. The Interior Department said Friday that it would soon publish a notice of intent stating that the Bureau of Reclamation may need to change Glen Canyon Dam's present operations and restrict its water flows downstream, which may cause water levels at Mead to plummet even more. This would be done to ensure that the Glen Canyon Dam could continue to operate and generate electricity. It also said that Reclamation may need to limit downstream water flows from the Hoover Dam to maintain Hoover Dam operations, system integrity, and public health and safety. What do you think about Lake Mead's future? Can the issue be solved soon? Leave a comment below. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Take care.